Talk of tonight's town hall with Omaha's mayor is the town scooping up private property. HDR's proposed headquarters in downtown Omaha could require the use of eminent domain, something the mayor says she is not willing to do. Yeah, KTV News Watch Evans Dave Roberts joins us live. It's a parking garage in the place of four historic buildings, and tonight the mayor heard all about it in a place far from it. Does Omaha really need another parking garage? Out in West Omaha, there's concern about what's happening 133 blocks to the east. If it's just a parking issue. Omaha-based global engineering company, HDR, wants to build a new 16-story tower and a seven-story parking garage for its new headquarters on an old parking lot now used by the Holland Performing Arts Center at 12th and Dodge. HDR's proposal includes replacing that parking with a garage on the site of four historic buildings, even if it means Omaha uses eminent domain to seize the property. And I don't want to come in and say the city is going to come in and take these buildings by eminent domain for something that may not be built for several years. If HDR doesn't get those buildings in a parking garage there, are they going to move out of town? No, I don't believe HDR will. When we started working with HDR for building their new world headquarters, we gave them multiple options where we felt they could build their building and park it. Some people think downtown parking will be a moot point with the completion of the bus rapid transit project in 2018, a public transportation system similar to light rail from West Roads to downtown. I can easily imagine that I will drive to the West Roads Park my car, get on the BRT, and be downtown in 20 minutes. And I don't have to worry about parking. I don't have to worry about being drunk. I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. I might even take a taxi to the to the start of the BRT if I think I'm going to come home loaded. On Wednesday, the Omaha Planning Board will consider HDR's redevelopment plan so the company would qualify for tax increment financing. That means it could reallocate property ta taxes to cover construction costs. The same kind of controversial incentive currently holding up the Crossroads redevelopment. Brandy, back to you.